Hey, it's Bigfoot Anonymous here. I'm with my dude, Cody. We have a mutual friend, Ronnie, who takes us on some crazy adventures. I heard you have a wild experience, man. Could you explain it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I do have a wild experience. A uh, couple years ago, I was walking my friend back to uh, his house because he was scared of the neighbor's dogs. We went down to the end of uh, Tim's and Sons right over there, and we thought we'd seen a bear, but whenever we actually seen him move, he was he was crouched down about 12 foot and and wider than a tank and uh whenever he stood up he was he was about tall like a telephone pole tele telephone pole yeah telephone you, pole, you said yeah, he was yeah. taller than the trees than, he was tall man and he seemed and, like he looked like a werewolf more than a yeah, bigfoot he looked like a werewolf more than a bigfoot and uh his head man was huge uh he had claws uh, and it was pitch black. You couldn't was, even you couldn't, see. You couldn't see anything except for him. But he brought, once he evaporated into the light, he brought uh, he, the darkness he, with he, him? He, he jumped and uh, turned to a dot in the sky. Like, yeah. Wow. Yeah. That is incredible. That nuts. And, and uh, did you hear any growling? No growling. He just sat there and watched us for about 10 minutes. Wow. And could you feel anything in your chest? Like yeah, vibration? I was, I was like, oh, my heart fell down to my <laughs> butt. And, and, and uh, it was actually the first time in my life that I pulled my pocket knife out and with with someone next to me, that, like a friend, and, yeah. and actually met defense. Jesus. It was, yeah, it was the first time in my life that actually happened to me. Wow. Have you had any other strange occurrences in those woods? Nope, nope. Nope, I, just that. I know you've had some paranormal activities, but yeah. nothing matches up against something taller than the trees. Yeah, that, that's a that's a first, and, and that was the last time, hopefully. Wow, bro. Well, I definitely appreciate the information, and uh, yeah. hopefully me and you will be uh, joining oh, yeah, Ronnie my, on oh, a journey my, here my soon. My friend quit hanging out with me because of it. Really? He, yeah, he said that, uh, how do I know you're not trying to feed me to your werewolf uncle? I said, dude, that, <laughs> that's cringy, but like... And then, and I was like, dude, how do I know you're not trying to feed me to your werewolf uncle? Yeah. And uh, he quit hanging out with me. And there's a lot of Native American legends around here about the Duke, I'm the Rougarou. Yeah, that's what I remember yeah. Ronnie telling me is that you guys had a lot of uh, family yeah, history yeah. and yeah. stories. Yeah, he, we might be cousins, me and Ronnie, actually, because he, he, he was telling me how his family's huge. Wow. And I was telling him some last names. He's like, I know him, and I think I'm probably related to him. And there's a lot of stories in Rocky Creek, right in your guys' neighborhood, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, I don't. Oh, that road's got so much juju down, and I don't even go down it. Yeah. <laughs> Giant monsters. Yeah, yeah. Windigo, oh, wait, skinwalkers. Did I tell you about that huge crab that they ran into? No. Dude, can you get him to tell you about that one? All right, he, Giant he said, crab. He said he ran into a crab that was about 30 foot tall. Jesus Christ. I know he's heard a lot of stories in the caves and he has a prehistoric bone of a giant. Man, I but, appreciate uh, it, bro. But I appreciate it. Yeah, too, man. Bro. Take yeah, it easy, right. man. Take it easy. It's Later. Cool.